Hello, my happy readers! It's Shed Time Stories with Izzy. Are you ready to share a new story? Well, I have chosen a rather regal story to share. The title is The Little Cockroach, a right royal roach trip. If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author, the person who has written this story is Susie Violet. And the illustrator, the person who has drawn all the pictures, is Alex Patrick. We're going to meet Pedro and Enrico. They've just got off their flight and they are sightseeing in London. I wonder what adventures they're going to get up to. Shall we read and find out? The Little Cockroach, a right royal roach trip. Pedro, the little cockroach, was feeling chirpy and chipper. He looked at all the bright lights through a haze that twinkled like glitter. We are bold travellers, Pedro said, on a mission to discover. Enrico turned to his best friend. Then they looked around in wonder. Arriba! Pedro whooped. Let's go and explore. Pedro's pal Enrico yelled. Look, a riverboat! Quick, jump aboard! The roaches crept across the deck to where a creature sat. Pedro smiled and the pear-shaped figure said, Fire! I'm Ruby Rat! Hi, I'm Pedro. He's Enrico. We've just got off a flight. I'll show you around, said Ruby Rat. This city is dynamite. The boat whipped up the River Thames. Their excitement grew stronger. The London Eye and Tower Bridge were reflected in the water. They arrived at the Tower of London and stared with awe and surprise. Suddenly, a raven swooped in and took them up towards the skies. Cracking vista! Enrico squealed, trying to use the lingo. They took in the views, truly amused before being dropped through a stone window. Glistening behind glass sat the priceless crown jewels with over 140 gems to see. All the little bugs could say was cool. All of a sudden, a beefeater shouted, Stop that robber! As a man ran by, Pedro cried, Follow my lead, Ruby, trip up the bad guy. The bugs leapt up high with a funny little dance. They flapped their wings with fat big grins. He did not stand a chance. They buzzed around the bandit's head and landed on his nose. Ruby Rat ran between his legs. He fell flat on his back and then froze. We've got him! Thank you, Nibblers! The Beef Eater blurted. You have really saved the day and the Bobbies have been alerted. To Buckingham Palace, the heroes were escorted in the gold state coach drawn by eight royal horses. The palace was full of joy. The queen was delighted to award you with the highest thanks. You are all to be knighted. The three little chums stooped before the queen and knelt for 
or a tiny sword. A sight no one had ever seen as they bowed, the big crowd roared. Rise, Sir Pedro! Rise, Sir Enrico! And, of course, Dame Ruby! I speak on behalf of England, for you have done your duty. The Queen happily announced, You must all stay for tea. I royally do insist, said the Queen. The cakes are so scrubby. The excitement was all too much. Ruby almost fainted. It would be an honour, Pedro beamed. Enrico felt elated. Ruby peeled herself from the floor and scoffed at an incredible pace. The state banquet was full of treats, but their table manners were a disgrace. After tea, they had to dash, so much to do and see. I'll show you around on a London bus, Dave Ruby said. Come with me. A final tour of this great city and a stroll through Hyde Park. It had been a roller coaster adventure, seeing nearly every single landmark. It was now time for the three amigos to finally say goodbye. Ruby dropped them off at the Ritz and left with a tear in her eye. The little bugs had earned a rest. What an amazing day! It was all beyond their wildest dreams, but it was time to hit the hay. Pedro nuzzled into a blanket. Enrico blocked out the light. Tomorrow would be another adventure, but for now they said night night. Oh, what a fun packed and adventurous story that was. Pedro and Enrico certainly got to see all the sights of London. They made a new friend in Ruby Rat and they helped catch the baddie who was trying to steal the crown jewels. I think the best bit was that they got to meet the Queen at Buckingham Palace and have afternoon tea with her. I wonder if you were invited to Buckingham Palace to meet the Queen and have a banquet with her. What sort of treats do you think there would be there to eat? I hope you've enjoyed today's Shed Time story. And if you want to, you can like, share, follow and subscribe to Shed Time Stories. Then you'll be ready for the next book for us to share together. Bye bye. Da, 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 da.